Hi everyone, we meet again with a new question raised by one of uh, the subscribers here. So the question goes like this, the ratio of the number of books that Lena had to the number of books that Su Ling had was 1 is to 2. After Lena bought 24 new books, the ratio became 2 is to 1. How many books did Lena have at first? Let's take this one at a time. Say the ratio of the number of books Lena had to the number of books that Soling had was 1 is to 2. So the ratio is between Lena and Soling. So before, meaning at first, what was the ratio? 1 is to 2. So we can write them as 1 is to 2. That's the ratio of the number of books of Lena is to Suling. Then what happened after Lena bought 24 new books? See here, Lena bought 24 new books. So when we look at the change, Lena has an increase of 24 books here. For Suling, there is no change in the number of books. She has neither bought nor sold or lost any books. So the number of books with Suling remains the same. And then the ratio became 2 is to 1. So after this change, the ratio of the number of books Lena has to that with Suling is 2 is to 1. But what do you see here? You can see that these, although here it is in 2 units, here it is 1 unit, there is no actual change in the quantity. So one quantity remains the same. So let's look at this from a, a diagrammatic perspective. Let's draw a diagram for Lena and Suling. So before, Lena had one unit as you see here, and Suling has two units of this same uh, size right and then what happens Lena purchased 24 more books and now before we go ahead and draw anything for Lena here let's look at Suling see she had two units and after that she had one unit but the quantity did not change which means the amount or the size of this cannot change only that instead of representing is two units it is being represented as one unit so this is what Suling had at the end there is no change although here it is shown as two units but the same is here shown as one unit so now Lena has two such units if this is one unit of Suling Lena should have two of them right so now we know that here this one unit here is actually equivalent to two units. Let's see how that plays out here. Yeah. So this is actually equal to this. Then in this case, what will happen to this? This will have two, another two, so four units if you look at it. So now we are able to compare the after units with the before units. And how did we do that? Because we knew these two were equal, same. Now, when we, after we have done that, we know that this one unit here is the same as this one unit. So, what is this 24 extra? Where did it come from? That is here. So, this 24 is the additional piece. Now, let's go to the working part of it. So 3 units here is equal to 24 and which means 1 unit is equal to 24 divided by 3 and 1 unit is equal to 8 and that gives us the answer. How many books did Lena have at first? At first Lena had 1 unit so Lena had 8 books at first. Hope this is clear. To summarize this problem this is a ratio problem and when you 
try to solve ratio problems first look for things that do not change or the or the units that do not change here i'm sorry i shouldn't say units that do not change i should say quantity does not change so suling had the same number of books before and after and that is the reason we were able to say okay here it is represented as two units but the same two units is represented here as one unit and that gave us the basis to understand how we can relate this unit which is the after unit to the before unit and then solve the problem i hope this was useful if you have more questions please do uh, put your questions in the comment section i will try to answer them and if you have any doubts please do put it put that in the comment section as well and have a great day if you like the video please subscribe and like the video as well share it with your friends and hope we all can learn about this wonderful singapore maths thank you